Last week was a game changer week for developers. Cursor launched its own model, Composer 1, during the big launch of Cursor 2.0, and just a few hours later, Windsurf launched their agentic model, SUI 1.5. After the launch, they are already being hyped up as a future of agentic coding and creating a lot of buzz on social media platforms. So in this video, I will test both Composer 1 and SUI 1.5 on real coding challenges to see which actually codes better, not just fast. So without delaying any further, let's get started. So first, let's start with Composer 1. According to Cursor, this model is 4x faster than its competitors, built specifically for agentic coding. That means it does not generate code, it can plan, it can write and review code by itself. Under the hood, it uses mixture of expert setup, basically a team of smaller models specialized for different coding tasks. It is trained through reinforcement learning in sandbox dev environments, so it learns by actually coding thousands of apps instead of just reading GitHub. And yeah, the speed is insane. Most interaction finishes under 30 seconds. The base model is not public, though a lot of people think that it is based on GLM 4.6 and Quen3 coded. Now, let's talk about Windsurf SUI 1.5. So this one is from Cognition AI, the same folks who benchmark models with SUI Bench. They have marketed it as agency grade, which means it is built for bigger projects, which contains multiple files, APIs, docs, even terminal content as well. So it runs on massive NVIDIA GB200 clusters which delivers around 950 tokens per second which is roughly 13x faster than Cloud Sonnet and 6x faster than Haiku. Windsor also uses a similar mixture of expert plus reinforcement learning using human feedback approach which is trained on real coding tasks with human feedback. And the context window is 128k tokens which means you can drop in your entire project folder and it still does not blink. Now, let's see this in action. First, I have opened my cursor editor here and you can see we have two modes here with the cursor 2.0 launch. We have the editor mode and we have the agent mode. So we can start with the agent mode as well. As you can see, I am using the composer one model and I will just paste the prompt here. So I'm just telling it to create a monkey type clone and I have added all the requirements, the design aesthetics and all the details. So we'll just finally, so I'm just mentioning the file path here and I will just enter it and it will start working. So you can see that first it will plan the next moves and you can see it has created the to-do list as I have already shared there. So you can see it has created 9 to-do list and it has started generating the game. So everything will be in HTML CSS. So now let's see how it creates it. It's quite a longer project so it might take a few moments. So I will just skip this part. Awesome. So it is now adding the JavaScript logic here. Okay. So it has completed the 9 to-dos and now it is checking the linting issues. And okay, it's automatically fixing some of the issues that it has found it. So, which is quite interesting. And it is also creating the README. I will also publish this code so you can also access it as well. So, awesome. It is done. Now, we'll just keep it all. And now let's go to our editor. And you can see all the files here. One of the cool features of Cursor 2.0 was you can connect your browser inside your ID, which means I don't need to leave the Cursor ID to go to another browser to check how it looks. So I can just connect to my browser and paste the URL here and you can see. Awesome. So we can just press any key and start. So I will just minimize the other screens so that I can try it out. So let's start a space. So let's start. So you can see here I have started writing and and it has picked the places where I made mistakes but overall the logic is not 100% correct and you can see the CSS is not working as well even if the you know, white mode is not working that well. So overall the aesthetics looks good but the logic needs some improvements. So that was the first test we did on cursor. And now I will go to Windserve and give the same example and see what it creates. 
So let me open my WinSurf. Awesome. So now I have opened my WinSurf. Now I will create a test folder. Test one. And now, as you can see here, I will select the model, which is SV 1.5. And using the code mode here. And now I will paste the same prompt here. Also added the file path here. And now I will just enter it. And it will start working on it. So similarly, it has also created eight tasks here. And you can see creating the CSS and it has started working. So I will reduce this bar here to see the code better. And let's see how this works. Okay, quite faster, right? So cursor actually took a lot of time and it was just blazing first, I would say. So let me accept it and let's just go live. Unlike cursor, you cannot bring browser inside the editor on WinServe. So I will just go live and start the server. And you can see we got this. So the UI looks quite similar. Now let's start the game. Okay, so this is much better than the other ones. So you can see we have multiple themes here as well, but the logic is much better and we can see actually what it is doing and we don't have anything. The CSS is not that messed up unlike cursor and the logic is quite well. So in this test, we can see that the overall performance of 3.1.5 is much better than Composer 1. So it did it much faster and the response is much better than Composer 1. So now let's go to the next test. Okay, so I have opened my cursor once again. So I will create another folder test 2. And now let me open the chat editor inside here and I will paste the prompt here. Again, I will just mention the file here. and now just say enter so let me increase the bar this slide so again it has created the to do's you can see this time it has created 10 to do's because now we are asking it to create a 3d solar system simulator so now let's see how it works because the previous time cursor did not do that better and winsub did well than this case so now let's see so similarly, you can see that it has started working on the HTML file and it will do the step by steps here. But the one thing we are seeing again and again is this is much slower in terms of the code writing part, whereas Windsor was much faster and just gave in in a few seconds, I would say. So now let's see how this works in this time. I assume it might take a bit more time than the previous one. Because in this time, we are not only using HTML, CSS, we are also trying to use 3JS. So my prediction is it will take a bit more time. So now let's see what it takes. Okay, so it has completed working on the HTML. Now it is also fixing some minor issues that it has found. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So the most of the part is done here. It is now fixing it and now I hope it should work now. I will just add all the changes and make it keep all. And now we should be able to run this. Now again, I will open it inside cursor. So open browser tab and use the same. Yeah, okay. So now we can see it has created the 3D model here. Though I still feel it has some issues with the visibility. So let focus Mercury. Okay. So it is not clearly visible, I would say, though we have a circle like structure here, but it is not that much visible. Let's go to Earth. Okay. Again, the same problem. The only the sun is visible here, not the others. Uh, Mars, again. It's very less visible so i feel it needs a lot of work on the ui part but overall the performance is not that much impressive i would say you can see the orbit part it is doing bit well 
but again the thing is it only is visible when it comes around the sun so it does not make that sense awesome now we will do the same thing again on windsor so, so let me open windsor and let's create test 2 folder test 2 and now i will paste the prompt here and just mention the void awesome you can see that it has also created 10 tasks so hopefully it will do it faster again oh and that's it it has created the whole project just in a blink of eye and this is really amazing so let me accept it and see the code here okay all the code is done so let me check it out on the browser okay so we can see this it is bit better the visibility is you can see that banners are much more visible let's me click on sun or any planet let me reduce the speed a bit and try to focus on some planet in terms of the last one it is a bit better because we can see the planets are a bit more visible here but overall it is not that good if you have to compare with other models that we have tested previously so it's a good start but i feel it has a lot of work to do in terms of using front ends or things like that but overall it was much faster uh, in terms of cursor and the output was a slight better than cursor as well so i would again give it a bit more higher rank than cursor so okay so it has opened it and now we can see the planets moving there and we can add the toggle trails here that will make it easier to see it and i will reduce the speed so we can see it better and now we can see the planets are much cleaner in terms of the previous one that cursor built so you can see the instruction given here you can click on any planet to focus so let me click here okay now we can see uh, the red planet which is mars and we are following its orbit and we can zoom out a bit as well and you can see other planets as well so let me click on this and this is venus so you can see it has done much better than the previous one we tried to focus on other planets but cursor composer was not able to do that but here you can see that it is doing it perfectly and the logics are much better i would say and the visibility part as well and overall the speed was much higher than the cursor composer one so overall i will rate this much higher than cursor composer one overall both are solid starting point for agent decoding both are fast fun to experiment with but right now it is a bit flaky it's good for ideations but i don't think it is quite ready for production grade so that's where things stands based on our test we saw windsurf c1.5 does much better than cursor's composer one but they both are promising especially once they fixes the current issues with the inconsistency if you have tried either one i would love to know your results you can drop them in the comments and if you found this video helpful do share with your friends and hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next video bye